I just said hello in like 40 different voices and I hated every single one of them and like visibly cringed. So I'm just gonna put that behind me. We're not saying hello today, we're gonna say what's up hoes. It's Sunday, Sunday is my favorite day of the week. It always has been. My issue with Sundays is I normally allow myself one day of playtime if needed per week and playtime being getting hammered with my friends. And that day usually lands on a Saturday so then my Sunday is ruined because I'm, it's been in bed, I'm puffy, I'm angry, I'm smoking weed all day long, I'm ordering 17 different meals to my doorstep. So long story short, I almost always ruin my Sundays for myself and that's not the case this week. I'm bright eyed and bushy tailed. Like why can't I just start having playtime on Thursdays? Because Thursdays in my opinion are the funnest day of the week to like get into some get into some trouble. There's something about the air and the energy on Thursdays. If, do you know what I mean? You know what I mean. I used to just not care. Like when I first moved to LA, me and Jordy would go out on a Saturday night like one does. And the next day we would go to the Melrose Trading Post. The Melrose Trading Post is this giant flea market in Los Angeles. It's on Melrose and it's on Sundays and everyone goes. And at the end of the day, like, Everyone goes. If, you go, if you're going to the Melrose Trading Post, you're guaranteed to see everybody that you know. It's, it's fascinating. Um, so me and Jordy would wake up on Sunday mornings. I would put on a sweatsuit in the middle of summer because when I'm hungover, my entire body gets like an extreme amount of bloated. Like I'm not exaggerating. I'm pale, I'm bloated. I look like I just was like sitting in a hot tub for 10 hours straight. Like I'm like, waterlogged. I look waterlogged when I'm hungover. It's wild. So I put on a sweatsuit in 95 degree weather and then we would scooter because we didn't have cars. We would scooter all the way from our apartment to the Melrose Trading Post and like smoke joints on the way. Sorry, not joints. We would smoke backwoods. That was our backwood. That was still our backwood era. We were smoking backwoods on the scooter in the 95 degree weather in our sweatsuits. <laughs> and every single time we would do this, we would get major anxiety while you know, walking around the trading post and we would still do it every single weekend. And we would always like ask each other like, yo, why do we still do this? This isn't fun. <laughs> we would just push through it and it was, it was wonderful. Well, it wasn't wonderful, it was um, admirable or something. Listen, I know I said in my last YouTube video that that like duck lady oat milk was like the best I've ever had, but I was totally lying because I forgot about the Chobani oat milk. This is the best oat milk that was ever made. Um, I bought a few things from my apartment yesterday that I want to show you guys, but first I need to show you my cat as per usual as every vlog. Venus, you're a star. You're so gorgeous. Yes, you are. You're quite annoying, but you're just so gorgeous. Okay, first I bought this plant. You guys, don't call me like a felon right now. I'm not in the mood. I used to do much worse. <laughs> so I was at Target and I saw this fake maple tree. How beautiful is she? I was like, that'll look perfect in my bedroom. It was $150, I looked at the tag. I'm at self-checkout and I had a few other things. I had the tree, I had like four other items and I'm ringing them up. I ring up the tree, it literally says on the screen, it says, would you like to add a three year protection program for a tree? That made no sense, but I was just like, no. Whatever, moved on with my life, I paid, I got my receipt, I went to my car. I get home, I'm looking at the receipt and it says $57. And I was like, $57, like that, I, the tree never got added to the, the check. Like it never rang up, even though I scanned it and the three year protection program literally came up in front of my face, I, it never scanned. So I got a free tree from Target. <laughs> and listen, if it was like a small business or pretty much any other store besides Target, Walmart, anything like that, I would for sure bring it back and be like, yo, like, I did this and it, I, I need to pay for it now, but it was Target, so I was just kind of like... What a win. <laughs> I bought a hardwood floor vacuum that literally changed my life. I love this thing more than I love anything. Like, I've been like looking for lint on the ground so that I can use it again. I've used it like four times in the past 24 hours, it's my best friend. And then I also got, I got soap dispensers for like my dish soap and my hand soap in my kitchen. I've never had soap dispensers for my kitchen, so this is like a big move for me. And then I also got these lights that I can't even use. I got like these type of like outdoor lights for my balcony, but these are like 11 feet and my balcony is 25 feet. So I ordered new ones and they're actually downstairs in my mailroom right now, so I 
I'm gonna put those up later and it's gonna be a vibe. But how did I fuck up? I was like, yeah, my balcony is like 11 feet probably. It's 25. How did I fuck that up? Okay, I just did my makeup. I didn't even really, like, I wasn't in the mood to wear makeup today, but, like, sitting down and, like, the process of doing my makeup is so fucking therapeutic, I, I couldn't pass it up. I just made avocado toast. Do you want to know what I put in my avocado toast? I'll tell you. I use Ezekiel bread, and then I mash up avocado with lemon juice, garlic powder, nutritional yeast, black pepper, and flake salt. You guys, I've never bought fancy salt before in my life. This is a game changer for me. I got Erewhon flake salt, and I can't stop talking about it to my loved ones. It changed my life. Um, and then I top it with the truff hotter sauce and I shave some vegan Parmesan cheese on top. Mm. There's a new Emma McDonald vlog and there's a new Brooke Schofield vlog. I don't know which one I'm gonna watch. I was at the trading post and there was this stand. I showed you guys a little bit of it, but it was like books with clocks worked into them. Like this guy like takes books and he makes them into clocks. I was talking to him for the longest time. I was like, you are unbelievable. But they had the Sorcerer's Stone Harry Potter one. And my boyfriend is like the biggest Harry Potter nerd ever to walk this earth. So I got him this beautiful clock. You guys, this is insane. This is insane. I. I I just called him, I was like, I have a little gifty for you and I'm gonna come drop it off. He was like, no, you didn't. I was like, no, you're gonna fucking love this. This is so you, like, this is so fucking cute. I can't even believe I found this. Anyways, I'm gonna go bring it to him. I also got him a coffee. I got him, I used to go to this place all the time called Coffee Attic. It's like an orange zest latte. So I got us these. <laughs> Dude, coolest thing ever. What the fuck? How cute is that? It's so sick. Yeah, isn't that cool? Oh, that's so fucking sick. Yeah. Wait, I know you what? guys already have a lot of knickknacks in there. But we, we do have a lot of knickknacks, <laughs> but this will go in more. my new apartment. I have a life-changing idea right now. I have figured it out. So my apartment tends to smell like an animal shelter sometimes because I have five pets. Um, it's sort of inevitable. It stinks a little bit more like in their bedroom. My animals have their own bedroom. Um, so it smells a little bit more in there. But sometimes I get wafts of, you know, cat shit, um, bird dander <laughs> in my bedroom, which isn't pleasant. So I have this air care product from Drift. I actually have one of these in my car and it's wonderful. But I'm gonna put this one in my bedroom um, and it's gonna smell like a beach resort in here. I can smell it through the bag. It's amazing. Drift is Scentbird's sister company and as you guys know, I'm literally in love with Scentbird. I have like a shrine of Scentbird in my bathroom. Drift makes air care products for your home, your car. I have it in both now. All the materials are sustainable and the scents are made from natural essential and fragrance oils. Let's read the little note card on this specific scent. This is the scent of the month of April. They do scents of the month every month and they're inspired by like the seasons and like the emotions and memories attached to it, which I think is so freaking adorable. This one is called Seaside. I knew it. I just said beach resort. I knew it. Inspired by the refreshing breeze of the coastal seaside, driftwood flows into salty aquatic notes highlighted with bright touches of gardena and orange blossom, finished with a drop of tonka bean. Let this light yet complex scent wash over you as you find yourself on an escape seaside. I knew it. You can do automated delivery every month with these things because they recommend switching them out every 30 days so you'll get one once a month right at your doorstep for your first month you'll receive like the starter kit so it'll come with the clip as well the subscriptions are flexible too like you can cancel anytime you can change up your scent at any time you can change your delivery frequency oh my god this is unbelievable what do i do where do i put it Ooh, i have an idea i have an idea it would blend right in what if i put it on my floor mirror what if i put it on my floor mirror that would be cute like right there Right? That just worked out so perfectly. Look at her sitting up there all pretty. Oh my God, my room smells like a beach resort. Wait, I can't stop showing her off. Look how pretty she is up there. I love it. I wanted to quickly show you guys the one that I have in my car too because it's so much prettier than the freaking danglies that people hang from like their rear view mirrors. I used to do that too, but like look how cute this is. So this is the one I have in my car. You literally just use the clip and you clip it to like your visor. I love it because it's so pretty and it's not tacky like other air fresheners. So it sort of like adds a vibe to the car. Like it's like 
cute. And it makes my car smell like the freaking beach. It's amazing. I love it. I also just wanted to show you guys another style of freshener that they have. They have the stone freshener, which is just made out of an organic stone blend that has different scents. So the scent of the month for this one is Seaside. And they also have like cabana and coffee, which sounds amazing. And then they also have the metal freshener, which is made out of a premium long lasting alloyed aluminum. And the different thing about this one is it actually blends into your dash. So if you don't want something up on your visor, if that's not your vibe, this would be the perfect option for you. I do have a code if you want to try drift out, which I do recommend that you do. I screwed up the code in that one clip because I cannot have one simple task. So I'm here to tell you that my code is Tara for 55% off your first month at drift. Again, that is code Tara for 55% off your first Month at Drift, the link is down in the description. Click on that, use my code. I'm gonna put the link down in the description so you just click there, sign up, use my code, get some money off, and your home and or car will smell dashing and all of your guests will be like, wow, why does your home smell like a beach resort, why? And you could act mysterious about it. You could just be like, ah, Oh, I don't know. I'm just, I'm just clean like that. Or you could be straight up about it. You could be like, see that little, see that little wooden plaque over there? Smeller. Smell. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Drift, for sponsoring today's video. I love you guys. I love your brand. I love you. I love you. I love you. Thank you for partnering with me. I'm obsessed. And back to the video. I was just out for five fucking hours, and like little things like exhaust me for some reason, and so I'm like, I just went like this. It's supposed to be like that. I'm fucking exhausted. I'm cracking open a swoon. Chamberlain coffee swoon collab matcha lemonade thing. Fucking love these. Um, I'm gonna give you guys a haul of everything that I just got, and then we're gonna get fucking high and like put everything together or something. Getting high while the sun is still shining is like, it's just something else. It's euphoric. Okay, so if you guys weren't aware, I'm like fucking obsessed with California, Los Angeles. I want to live here for the rest of my life. I literally love it more than I love breathing. Something about it, man. Um, and I have like an excessively long hallway when you first walk into my apartment, like the entryway hallway is really fucking long. So I got these pictures um, to like hang on the wall, like down my long ass hallway. I got this California one. I got one that says, Los Angeles. This one is Hollywood. Hollywood has my heart, okay? I lived in Hollywood for two years and it is the scariest place ever, but it has my fucking heart. I love it there. So I got a Hollywood one. I got a Santa Monica one. Malibu, because this is where I wanna settle down with my kids, but I'm unsure of how, if that's ever gonna happen because the houses there are. I be getting like, I like live on Zillow. That's like my thing. And like every day I get like the recommended for you houses on my Zillow and it's like recommended for you 76.8 million. I'm like, why is that recommended for me? It just, it just hurts my feelings. And then I got a San Francisco one because I fucking love San Francisco. I went once for the Outside Lands Festival and like, oh my God, it's like magical. And then I just got six like plain white picture frames to put them in. I had to drive to three different targets for these frames because it was like three of them and then two of them and then one, like it was like, like I'm tired, I'm so tired. So this is what I set out for today at the Trading Post, but I was like, every time I, I go somewhere with a specific item in mind, I can never find it. So I wasn't expecting much and I found it. I wanted like cute little bowls for my jewelry for my bathroom. And I wanted like the clear like resin um, ones with like pressed flowers or like whatever. And I literally can't believe I found these. I had a lovely conversation with the woman who makes these. I wish she gave me her Instagram handle, but she did not. I love her. I have one of these at my condo in Rhode Island and it's like pills. It's a, it's a bigger one, it's like an ashtray, but it's like resin with like a bunch of different pills in it. <laughs> and then so I got Brandon that like Harry Potter book clock thing and there was a whole stand of these like books made as clocks. And my mommy used to read this book to me every night and so I decided to get it and it's so cute. I got Goodnight Moon and it's like a little clock. I've been really into like my childhood books recently. Like I have, I just got this and I also have The Giving Tree as like a coffee table decor piece. I like things that like make me happy whenever I look at it. Like like I'm, I'm living in my home and I like glance at something and it brings me joy. Like I like that. So I got a bath mat from Target. This big white, it's kind of giant. Um, big white fluffy 
bath mat, boring. I got two plants for my balcony, look how pretty they are. I told myself I was never going to get real plants again because every time I have real plants, something horrible happens, but nothing horrible is gonna happen this time. I'm almost convinced I'm gonna take such good care of these. They're going outside. I tried to get planters for them at Target, but they didn't really have any that I liked, so I'm going to order some off Amazon. I just picked up my lights from the mail room. These are for my balcony. I'm gonna string those up in a minute. And then I got stuff for us to make dinner. I went to Air One. I go to Air One every single day. I also, at the trading post, I got an Air One sweatsuit. Hear me out. I go to Air One every day. I am an Air One member. I pay for an annual membership. I deserve a sweatsuit. I left it in the car and like you couldn't pay me all the money in the world to like go back down to my car. That's just not happening. I'm so tired. But it's like this green, like Air One Market crew neck with matching sweatpants. I fucking love it. I almost forgot. So I ordered this like nightstand off of Amazon, but it was like really expensive and like you had to get like a set of two and I didn't need to. So I canceled that order while I was at Target because I saw this like plant stand, this dinky little plant stand. I love it. I'm putting it next to my bed and this is gonna be my dinky little nightstand. I don't have a lot of room next to my bed. I, I, can't, I can't have like a big clunky night nightstand. So I got this and I love it. I've been spamming this joint brand's DMs on Instagram like like obsessively for a year now and they never answer me. They leave me on red, they like my message, they never answer me. I even sent them this like psycho audio message once and I was like, no, you guys don't understand. Like I will never smoke anything else. I'll do anything for you. They left me on red. They hit me up the other day. They came out of the woodworks and they were like, hey, we want to send you a hot meal. <laughs> I freaked out and fangirled, but I was like, like a, a hot meal, that's really fucking random, but okay. I didn't even mention that I was vegan, so they're probably gonna send me over like a filet, and I'm gonna have to like, you know, like post it on my story, like thank you guys, and then what do I do with it? Like, my fucking neck hurts, and my freaking throat hurts, because I like, oh god, I hope no one's like above me right now. I've been sort of obsessed with like, letting my boyfriend fuck my face, and so like it makes my throat hurt for like multiple days, TMI. You guys know this by now. So like my throat just like constantly hurts now because of that. Um, and I need a neck massage, like really bad. You guys, so ever since I moved in here, there's been like a spider, like a really big spider on the corner of my, my patio, balcony, whatever. And it was giving me brown recluse energy. I don't know my like spider breeds, but like it was a really big spider. I just like kind of assumed it was like a venomous one, but I loved him and he chilled there forever. And like, I'd come out here and check on him and be like, hey bud, um, I was like out here measuring my balcony yesterday. Cause I was like for the lights or whatever. He's dead. Ooh. It gave me flashbacks of like when I had like a pet tarantula and then he died and I like kept his body for mm, two years. That was like one of the first TikToks I ever filmed. It was like, I like casually mentioned it. I was like, oh yeah, like my old uh, dead spider's body is in my closet. And everyone was like, wait, come again? Oh girl, I just, I just, <laughs> I just shooted the, sh shooted, shot, shot the shit. Huh, so what is like the past tense version of shooting the shit? Would it be shot the shit? I just shot the shit with my dad on the phone. Like that sounds weird. I just shooted the shit. It would, it would be shoot it, even though that's technically wrong. Who fucking cares? Sorry, I'm like a little high. Um, <laughs> I need to put budget. See, when I smoke, then I want to like build shit. Well, I'm not like, I don't have anything to build. <laughs> build shit. I have to like put pictures in frames and like pound a nail into the wall. I love doing shit like that. I, I had a phase over the summer where I would like drink like two beers and then like build shelves in my room. Just like floating shelves on my wall. I ended my time at that apartment with 11 floating shelves in my room. Why? Just because I loved putting them up. It was like fun for me. <laughs> I am wearing nothing interesting, but I'm going to give you a fit check anyways because I don't know. The top is for me turn. The shorts are Nike Pro. My headband is like Target. I tried the whole headband thing today. Like I used to wear head like these headbands like when my hair was on like a high pony, but I've never just like used it like this. I'm slaying. I love it. I don't I don't know. I feel like I've tried this before and it looked horrifying. And that's why I've never done it. So I wasn't expecting much today. I think I look fucking adorable and I was like onto something this morning. You guys don't care. I'm gonna like build stuff. <laughs> my only like issue is I ordered another floating shelf bookshelf for above, but now I wanna put the good night moon clock above those because how cute would that be that's the perfect spot so i don't know what i'm ever gonna do i'm hungry i'm actually going to make dinner now even though it is totally not dinner time but we have no rules around here i guess this is normally when i eat dinner it's but it's fucking early it's 5 30. is that too right in the comments below is that too early to have dinner i have dinner at like 6 30. it's not that deep right i went to air one as you guys know what did i get where the fuck Oh. I got the Kite Hill Tortellini. You guys, this shit is so good. It's plant-based ricotta. 
tortellini, and then I got this pouch of pesto. I called three people to tell them about this when I bought this at Air One. It's a package, like a pouch of dairy-free pesto from the brand Gigi's. I like broke down crying when I saw this in the store. Okay, I didn't break down crying, but I was like, wait, thank God. You know what I mean? I'm like, I'm over the moon about this. Um, Mm -hmm. When I was going to Air One today, I almost pulled over to like throw on the sweatsuit that I had purchased earlier, the Air One sweatsuit. How embarrassing is that? I almost changed into that into my car because I was going into Air One. I just finished all of my home improvement activities and I just realized I'm still drinking this like swoon, but it's like 8 p.m. Yeah, my cutoff for caffeine is normally like 2.30, 3pm, it's 7.30, but I'm like really tired, so I don't think it matters. I'll show you everything I've accomplished. It took a long fucking time, and I came across challenges, and like, like the outlet outside wouldn't work, and then like a light bulb was broken, and like I figured it out. So I strung these lights up all around my balcony. They kind of came short a little bit somehow, like I guess I measured it wrong, I don't know. Oh, it's so pretty outside right now, oh my god. And then I got these two plants. Again, I'm gonna switch like the planters. But you guys, I didn't even think about this, but I obviously my cats come out here like a lot and they were out here earlier and then Roger runs inside and he pukes up a bunch of leaves. I was like, fuck, he like ate that one. So I looked it up on Google and it's not toxic to cats. Like, thank God. But I was like, wait, puke is like not my favorite thing in the world. Like that actually can be added to the list of things that make me gag. Sea moss, dick, and cat vomit. So this is my like excessively long hallway. I put all the pictures right there, but like, look how long it is. Why is it so long? It just keeps going. Um, but yeah, I framed these and I put them up in my hallway and they're so cute. I love them. And then I wanted to put the Goodnight Moon book like above my bookshelves, but I need to put another bookshelf there. So I put it above my bed and I kind of love it. Let me turn my lamp on so you can see. Isn't this lamp cool? I just put it on so you could see, but yeah, I put it like above my bed. And then boring, but this is the bath mat. It's so like fluffy and thick. And I just put like my everyday jewelry in these little resin dishes. They're supposed to be ashtrays, but I wanted them for my jewelry. My every jewels shrine, but I need to do my skincare right now because I like literally haven't sat down all day and I'm so tired. My body is just aching. I feel like, again, I get tired like really easily. Um, but today I just haven't sat down. So my joints ache. Something I haven't done all day is showered. I haven't showered, so I'm going to I wanted to take like a bath earlier, how weird. I like hate baths, I like I like the idea of them, I like try to do them all the time, but like it just doesn't work. I was like, oh, I can just go use the hot tub, like that'll be easy, but like if I ran into somebody right now, like I would have a meltdown. I like can't even walk past somebody in the hallway when I'm high, like I'll have a freak out. So, Tara, why do you still smoke? I don't know.
jump scare. I know uh, the video ended, it was a long dramatic montage, but I'm here just to remind you that if you want to try out any Drift products, I'm gonna put the link down in my description. You just use my code TOWER for 55% off. Your home smells good, your car smells good, everyone's happy, everyone's like, yo, why is your, why do you just smell so nice all the time? Drift.co, baby. Love you guys, bye.